Hello everyone, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new tutorial where we're gonna keep learning about the inventory system for Unity 5. In our last lesson we learned how to make multiple slots just like this and what we're gonna do now is that for each slot we're gonna create an item if the items is in the list of items so we're gonna create a game database so let's get started with this we're gonna open our inventory controller uh, our item controller and we're gonna make a new script called game DB before we continue I want to say thank you to IO Sora OI you left the following comment could you change mono develops color scheme please the blue on blue makes it difficult to read and I reply with yes so now I'm gonna do that so guys if you don't know how to change the color of your mono developed it's really simple just go to tools options and here down in text editor there is a tab called syntax highlighting go and choose the one you like in this case um, I also OI asked us for you to use monokai so let's try that Ooh, it's quite nice so again thank you I also OI please keep leaving comment and it really helps us and motivates me to keep making videos so first of all let's go to items the item class and we're gonna make some public variables the first public variable we're gonna make is a string called name the second one is a enum I'm gonna call it type and it will have equip um, consumables and uh, miscellaneous as the types and I'm gonna make another public type and I'm gonna call it type with a small t public sprite sprite and this is the image that our item will have so here we see a sword yes that's sword there that's the sprite so you see here in the image component we have the source image so we're gonna use different image for different items and let's proceed to start making our game database so first of all we want to make a list of items this list is gonna be static so public static and then a list to make use of list to use list in unity we have to add a library called system dot collections dot generic this will allow us to use dictionaries and lists so now we're gonna make a public static list and the type for this list is um, item yes sir and we're gonna call it item list and but before we, we we go to the start function we want to declare this items list as a new list of type hey sorry here we don't need that new list of type item and the parentheses yes that's how you initialize uh, and declare a list so next in the start function is where we're gonna add the items for our list so I'm gonna make a comment here I'm gonna call this item creation so let me clarify something before we continue for making items and adding them into the list I have another method which I suggest more but it's a little bit more complicated so for the sake of simplicity I'm just gonna teach you a very simple method but if you would like to do it more professionally uh, you should try using constructors instead of uh, making an object and declaring each variable so first we're gonna create a new item and for do that we have to type item and I'm gonna call this item i0 because it's the first item I want to add to my database and I'm gonna set this to a new 
item parentheses. After I create the item, I can access the public variables we just created in this class, which are name, type, and the sprite. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to say i0 dot name equals, and I can assign string. Then i0 dot type, and then I can assign an item type. So item type, I have consumable, equip, miscellaneous, I'm going to select equipment. And finally, I have uh, i0 dot sprite equals, and before we continue here, this is also for the sake of simplicity. I'm going to make a public sprite. That's the type of texture we want. And this is going to be a array. And I'm going to call this sprites. So then we can set the sprites in the, um, in the editor. So I see your sprite is going to be sprites and it's going to be the first element of that. And so, yeah, we have this. And I'm going to give it a name immediately. Uh, so I'm going to call this uh, Golden Sword. Yeah. This is one item that we've created. And the last thing we want to do with this item is add it to our item list. So I'm going to say item list dot add i0. So this will add the items to our static list, which then we can access from the inventory controller. So this is item zero, it's a golden sword, the type is equipment, and the photo it uses is this one, the first one of this array. So I'm gonna copy this, and maybe I'm gonna go for five items. So I'm gonna make one, two, three, four, five. And this here, I need to change So, um, you have four different items, five different items. So it goes from zero to five. And the first one is a golden sword. The second one, I'm gonna make a health potion. So you don't even need to uh, make it in order. So here's the item type equip. I'm gonna make an item type consumable. I'm gonna make a... Um, um, Rejuvenation potion. Give me that rejuvenation potion, son. I'm too old for this. Keep quit playing with your friends and go and give me my rejuvenation. Okay, that's too much. Uh, <clears throat> uh, bow and the type for bow is equip and uh, finally a iron sword. So it's also equipped. And this is oh, one, two, three, and four. So we created four, five items. We created five items and we added to the item list. The next thing we want to do is go to hierarchy. And in the background, we're going to add the GameDB script. So just drag that into the background. And you will realize that the sprites here, it, it gives us a, a size. Um, so I want to make a size of 5. So I will have a different sprite for each of my items. And the first one is a golden sword. So if I go to textures, I can drag the golden sword script to it. Then the second one is the health potion. The third one is the rejuvenation potion. The fourth one is the bow, and the last one is the iron sword. So yes, let me save my scene and go back to this. So we have five items in our item list. The next thing we want to do, we're done with the item because we already have the properties for it. The next thing we want to do here is create the item. So we're going to use the item prefab. And just as we created the slot, <coughs> we're going to use the same method to create the item. But before that, we have to check. Does the slot number less 
or equals to the size of our item list. So to do that, we need to use the x and the y in a formula that will allow us to get the exact number on the slot we are. Let me do the formula. I'm going to say if. <coughs> and this formula is fairly simple. We have four, four columns. So um, here, the x is 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's true as well for the number of slots. So here is 1, 2, 3, 4. And the second one, the x is 1, 2, 3, 4. And the y is 2 all the time. Here the y is always 1. So here is 5, 6, 7, 8. So if you realized, each y will count as 4. But we want to start that y as 0. So we're going to say that the number of the slot we're in, x plus y minus 1, because in the first row, y is 1, but we don't add 4 that time. We just start using y from the second row. And this is times 4. So the value of y minus 1 times 4 plus the x will give us the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, until 24. If that, my friends, if this value right here is less or equals than, yes, gain db dot item list dot count. So we want to make sure we don't go over the, the number of items we have in the list. Otherwise, we have a, a, an out of boundaries exception or error. Um, if this is true, we are going to get, we're going to create an item. We're going to make that item a child of this slot. And we're going to set the position to zero. And we're going to take these properties and assign them to these properties, which are in the component of the item prefab. So the first thing we do is copy this here and change this slot for item. And here, this. Whoa, 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 what happened? Oh my god, my computer is crazy. Okay, item and item prefab. The second thing is make the item a child of the slot. Right? The third thing is that we're going to get the component of that item. Which component? Red transform. And we're going to set the anchored position to a vector 3.0. That's the third thing. And then the fourth thing is that we're going to make a item i. That's a script. It's a component. We're going to say this i is equals to item dot get component item. So we have the properties of the item that we can assign. <coughs> The next thing is um, for the i, we have different properties. The first one is the name. So we are going to set that name equals equal to here. We have the, yeah, we're going to set that name equal to game database dot item list. And we are going to get this formula here because this is telling us which number, which slot, which item we want to get. So let's get the name. And then we're going to copy this a few times. So we're going to do the same for the type. And here, type. We need to do the same thing for the sprite. And here we use the sprite. Let me um, item component uh, variable. 
So after that, we keep modifying the item. So item.name equals i.name. This name here is not the same as this one. This one here is the item that we want to have here. This name here is what will be shown in the inspector. The second thing we want to change here after that is um, we want to get a component from the item. And that component, my friends, is um, the image component. And that's from the canvas uh, UI. So uh, what we want to get is a variable called sprite. And we're going to set this to the i.sprite. And that will give, a, give us the correct sprite. And finally, no, I think we're done. So let's try this. Um, if I get any errors, we're going to fix them together. And yes, I did get errors. So there is an argument is out of range. So what happened here is that this number, uh, because x and y, they start at 1. So this number here is, remember, 1, 2, 3, 4. But our item list begins at 0. So here, 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 <laughs> we need to take out one. We have to subtract one from that formula. So it's not exactly the same. We need minus one because we're dealing with uh, numbers that start at zero and not at one. So let's try that again. Let's see if we get another error. No, we didn't get any error. But we do have a problem. There should be five different items. But now I can see there's five swords. But if we see clear, we have a golden sword. We have a golden sword. We have a golden sword. Let's see what happened. So, um, our list. Oh, yes. I can see the problem. We create item i0, i1, i2, i3, and i4. But what the item we add to the list five different times was always this item, the first item. So item 1, i2, i3, and i4. So now we added four, uh, five different items to the list, which should actually fix that error. So yes, there we go. We have the iron sword, we have the golden sword, the potions, the bow, and yes, that's my friend how you make different items. So here's our database. I, I think I said already, but in the future we're going to learn how to make MySQL databases. So the next thing we have to do here is to actually uh, make some buttons here that will allow us to uh, organize our inventory by weapons, armor, usable items, miscellaneous quest items, whatever. But for that, my friends, we need to wait for a new episode. So if you like this video, please let us know by hitting that like button, subscribe and share it to your friends. So if you have any comments, uh, please let us know in the section below and we will see you on the next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.